Hey there guys, DMO73 here, bringing you another spoiler article for the day. We're getting close to the release, so these spoilers are coming pretty fast and frequent. Today we have the new, the final set of wind stuff for Millennia of Ages. So let's just jump right in. We have Scheherazade, the Teller of the Crimson Moon. Amazing looking card art. A five drop wanderer. When she enters, you choose a race. And as long as you control this card, J slash resonators of the chosen race cannot attack you. That's, first off, that's really good. Um, like, this just, I don't know, just if you're playing against an archetype deck, just go, none of your demons can attack me. None of your humans can attack me. All of those things. I mean, sure, she can be hit herself, and she has a pretty high cost, but 1,200 defense? I mean, that's pretty good. She can. She has a lot of survivability. She have, You literally have to double flames her or flames her and thunder her. Like, so you have to spend a lot of resources in order to kill, unless you have like a stoning to death or something like that, but she's typically going to be protected. So, she's not something that just outright dies. And then uh, activate Pay 2 Green and tap her to remove target resonator from the game. So she just, she just becomes a two cost tap something, or two cost tap to remove. So she's a continuous spot removal source as well. So if your opponent has that like one thing that is a different race than what you picked, you can just tap it uh, and remove something. This is going to be amazing, I think. Um, I think elves are going to see a lot of support. So actually, oddly enough, this is going to be a card that's going to just be able to shut down elves. Just play her, your elves go through. There you go, you're all set. Like, you're uh, you're not going to be able to attack with any of your elves, so it doesn't matter that they're all so huge. I'll just can't attack with them. So, it's pretty, pretty cool. Um, so I'm excited to see how this all plays out. And then we have the Leaves of Yggdrasil, a one-drop Resonator Treasury Item edition. Um, when added Resonator is put into a graveyard from a field, just bring it back. Um, yeah, so... That's pretty cool. Essentially means that you have to kill my thing twice. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's that's pretty cool. Um, it's not going to trigger enter effects, but still helps bring back those creatures that you need to make sure they keep around, like a uh, Mephistopheles or something like that, or you know, all kinds of stuff. Your kind of kill condition you can keep on board just by playing a green and just having it, you know, making sure that they have to kill it twice if they're going to want to try to finish it off. Then you have uh, Hansel and Gretel, our new 4-drop. So it's a 4-drop tale human. Uh, when this card enters your field, draw a card and put the top card of your Magic Stone deck into your Magic Stone area rested. So this it doesn't, it's not even an enter effect, it's just going to happen every single time. Um, that as well is just um, really awesome. Um, it's only a 400 400 but it is a fairy tale so like in grim decks i definitely see this big huge because you don't necessarily have to worry about the four will cost because it's just it's grim so he can play any kind of color he wants to do it but this is a really really awesome card um i'm really excited to see it see some play and i can see some pretty crazy shenanigans with like hansel and gretel plus the leaves of yggdrasil to just kind of ramp and draw and ramp and draw constantly because it doesn't matter what stone she hit, they hit, it's gonna hit it, it's gonna come into play every single time, so that's pretty cool. Then we have Rayfarth, the Wind Castle. So before we knew it as Rayfarth, the Castle in the Sky. It's a field edition castle that prevents all damage that would be dealt by normal spells to resonators you control. So this just says no to Flames of Outer World, Thunder, um, other tiny burn spells. We're getting a lot of burn coming out. I see this card being very, very important um, against burn because it essentially says the only person you can burn is me. Um, sure, it doesn't protect J rulers, but you just time your J rulers well. I guess it's not like it just says. Um, a small amount of the damage or the first damage it's literally all damage dealt by normal spells and typically fire doesn't run addition hate so with burn you just side in like three three of these make sure you get it out there early and then suddenly you just lock down your opponent's burn play 
So really, really cool, especially because of all the burn stuff we've been seeing that was probably going to get a lot of hype. And then the last card is Liberate the Wind, two drop spell. Uh, look at the top three cards of your main deck, put one of them into your hand, and remove the rest from the game face down. Um, it's okay. I mean, it's draw three. I think, the, however, that this card is definitely going to be amazing for any Lumia players, because this essentially is a two drop draw three for Lumia players. Um, so I definitely see that green could be seeing a lot more use in Lumia now. Um, just because of this card uh, and some of the other, like when this card enters your field as opposed to enter effects, so you can start kind of manipulating those effects a little bit better and make use of Lumia a little bit better. So yeah, I'm excited to see how this card gets used, um, but I definitely think it's gonna be a, a limited amount of decks that it can be feasibly run in. So yeah, there you have it guys. That is what we have for today. Uh, some really awesome, really, really good cards to kind of round out. Um, the green portion of Millennia of Ages. Um, I definitely know that I'm going to be picking up a lot of Scheherazades to try and put her into a bunch of different decks. Um, so yeah, let me know what you thought of these spoilers, what you decks you would see these guys that can play in. So with your likes, your comments, and, your, and then go ahead and subscribe. And uh, until next time, guys, this is DMO73, signing off.